Hello friends, it's me, Kiana G. I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys the easiest way to reapply your frontal wig. This is from my spray girlies. No glue, nothing. Let's get into it. So the major key here is to just when you take it off the night before or the time before, don't agitate it too much. Don't move it around too much. Try to keep it in the style that it's in. I took my wig off in the shower. I let the water run and it loosens up the spray and then the wig just comes right off. That's how I still have it in the style that it was in before. So the first step is always to wipe the lace. Always, always, always wipe off your lace. This is a warm um, rag, a rag with just warm water on it, okay? And I always have to crisscross my um, security straps or whatever they're called <laughs> because my head is small, right? Because this is an old wig. This isn't even one of my good wigs and it's still this process just works for me okay so this is one of my old wigs. this is i ordered this wig back when i had hair so this wig is a 24 i think i need to get my wigs on a 22 now because a bitch is bald okay but yeah y'all just just so quick and so easy don't think too much of it i used to be so overwhelmed by reapplying a wig i already wore but this video is proof that it ain't that deep <laughs> it ain't that deep get the supplies i'm using in this video Follow my steps and you end the dough, okay? But the major key is to take it off slowly and neatly the night before or the time before. So y'all saw me put this wig on like a helmet. Love that for me because it immediately goes into place, right? So I'm first I'm going to take my Lotta Body um, mousse. I love me some Lotta Body, okay? Lotta Body, I don't even know about Lamont. She's my girl, okay? She gets my wigs flat, okay? flat i like a flat top wig <laughs> a flat top wig i like a flat wig up top some people like volume i like it flat because it it just looks more dainty to me i feel like the the voluminous hair gives more like supermodel and the flat like super super flat frontal gives like relaxed hair vibes you know flat pressed hair i just like the pressed hair look right that's why i always make my wig super flat up top but the voluminous look i want to get into it though honestly <laughs> now i'm gonna take my favorite spray the best spray okay i've tried a few but i always make my way back to her I always, always, always make my way back to her. So um, this spray isn't super runny if you know what you're doing, okay? But it takes practice, okay? So just do little sprays at first. Don't try to go in there spraying all willy-nilly. No. Do like how I just was doing with the little spray, like ch 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 Yeah. <laughs> you have to have one of these combs with the, with the wire or the metal rat tail. Because if you use the black comb that has the black tail, it's too big. You won't even be able to see what you're doing. But you need that metal part of the rat tail to help you get your baby hairs in place, to help you push your lace down for everything. Now, typically, I will skip baby hairs, but I wanted to show you guys in this video that you can still do baby hairs even when you're reapplying, right? So baby hairs is not even an issue. It just takes so long. That's why I'll be skipping them now. But I gave y'all one little swoop of doom. <laughs> <laughs> on the side just for the video but it came out super cute so I ain't mad at it now let's get into these ear tabs y'all I do layers of this spray but the thing with the spray how everybody be like oh how does the spray stay down is because my method with the spray I do, I spray it down, then I blow dry it a little bit, let it get tacky, and then I press the ear tabs down into it. Um, because this is the only way that works for me. When I try to push the ear tabs down, when the spray is still wet, it just doesn't stick. Like, And the ear tabs give me a hard time in general. But now I've figured out my method of how I can do it, and hopefully it helps you too. So see how I was saying I use this metal tip? You need it. Because, the you know, you still want the air to be able to hit the lace when you're directing it where you want it to be. And then you also need the silver tip to get those little hairs that go back up, that curl back up under the lace. Because you can't leave those like that. Those hairs that be under the lace, get them. 
Otherwise, you'll be able to see them. <laughs> so, yeah, I've been loving my sideburns lately. I don't know. It's just, I don't know. It's just been giving me the vibes. I don't know. I just like sideburns now. I used to not do sideburns, but now I'm into sideburns. Just like how I used to hate blush, but now I love blush. A girl is evolving, okay? She's growing. She's growing. <laughs> so, now I'm going to go ahead and pump it up. Pump it up. Bronner Brothers, if you're listening, I'm going to need y'all to get this packaging together because how has Pump It Up been been out for millions and trillions of years <laughs> and the spray still gets clogged? I don't want to have to rinse the sprayer off with warm water every time I use this. Can y'all come up with maybe like a spritz foam or something or something because it's getting ghetto, okay? It's getting ghetto. <laughs> so... I'm going to apply my band. You have to have a band. There's just no way around it. And I tie mine first and then I do the Velcro for extra security. It's just a necessity. You have to have um, a wig band, a, a lay band, whatever you want to call it. You have to have one. Get it from anywhere. This came from Lace Paste. So I'm in a phase of my life where I want to wear curls. I used to be like crimp, 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 crimp. But now I want to wear curls. I feel like curls make me look so girly. And I really like to look cute and girly, y'all. So I am trying to learn how to curl. So watch me struggle curl. If you have any tips and tricks for the curls, please let me know. Because I need your help. <laughs> okay. And what products will you be using when you use your... um curling iron to make your curl stay because this hair does hold a curl but I don't have any spray to like help me secure it I guess or whatever um so let me know what you be using because I need some help okay I need some help this wig is so old y'all this wig is one of the wigs that I over bleached and if you ever over bleach your wig it's not the end of the world you just get some black mascara or some black um hair dye and just you know Put it down to make your part look smaller. That'll make your part look bigger, make your part look smaller. I personally don't care about the part on this wig because it's not really a big deal to me. I would much rather have my part look like this than to give that skinny, like a synthetic wig part. So pick your battle, babe. Pick your battle. And I choose the semi wider part than that super skinny, like synthetic wig part. Okay, so here she is, all cute and curled, all right? All cute and curled. So leave the band on for an hour, okay? This is the hour I'm about to do my makeup and all that. And if your band doesn't fall off like that, it's not dry yet. Do not take your band off if it is not dry, if your hair and your lace is not dry. Don't do it because you're going to lift up the lace and it's going to turn white on you, okay? So if you take, if you release... If you release the pressure on that band and it don't fly off the way mine did, put it back on. Leave it alone, okay? So I always suggest doing your hair first, then do your makeup, then get dressed or whatever, then come back and take it off. Or if you're in a pinch, you can kind of blow dry the lace, but, you know, that's kind of iffy because you can't even see how far, how much progress you've made because, you know, the band is on top. But, y'all, that's basically it i'm doing my makeup right now and i've lately i've been putting a little bit of bronzer on my lace um i'm not sure if it really did anything but i did that okay so this is the final look you guys i hope this video helps you watch it back ask me questions whatever you need to do i'm here to help you um please subscribe to the channel please give this video a big thumbs up leave a comment let me know if i helped you and yeah you guys it's not that hard put that wig back on okay put the wig back on if you want me to do a video like when i just wash the wig and show you like the real deal from scratch from scratch let me know because i can do that too that's a little bit more complicated but it's also easy like i will make the video easy like i will make it simple for y'all this took maybe 40 minutes 35 minutes um and that's just because i took my time i don't like to rush do my makeup or my hair or anything so you guys it's not that deep don't get overwhelmed. Don't psych yourself out. Just put 
the damn wig on. Okay. Love you. Bye. Oh, and don't tell me that it don't stay. Cause girl, the spray, the layers, it will stay. That wig is not going anywhere. Okay. It ain't going to work. Love you. Bye.